So I've got a whole pizza here, and let's say that I were to cut it into two equal pieces. So let me cut it right over here into two equal pieces. And let's say that I ate one of those two equal pieces. So let's say I ate all of this right over here. What fraction of the pizza have I eaten? Well, I took the whole and I divided it into two equal, I divided it into two equal pieces, and then I ate one of those pieces. Let me, and then I ate, and then I ate one of those pieces. So I ate one half of the pizza. Now let's imagine that instead of divide, instead of cutting that that pizza into only two equal pieces, let's imagine instead that I decided to cut it into four equal pieces. So let's draw that. So four equal pieces. So cut it. I could cut it once this way, and then I could cut it once this way. And so here I have four equal pieces, four equal pieces. But let's say that I want to eat the same amount of pizza. How many of these four equal pieces would I have to eat? I encourage you to pause the video and think about that. Well, I would eat this piece. You could imagine me eating this piece and this piece right over here. I've eaten the same amount of the pizza. I just each of these pieces you could imagine got cut into two pieces when I cut the whole pizza this way. And so now I have to eat two slices of the four as opposed to one slice of the two. So I just ate two out of the four slices. So even though these I'm using different numbers here. Here I'm using a one half and here or one in the numerator, a two in the denominator. Here I'm using a two in the numerator and a four in the denominator. These two fractions represent the same quantity. I ate the same amount of pizza. If I eat two fourths of a pizza, if I eat two out of four equal pieces, that's the same fraction of the pizza as if I eat one out of two equal pieces. So we would say that these two things are equivalent fractions. Now let's do another one like this. Instead of just dividing it into four equal pieces, let's let's divide it into eight equal pieces. Eight equal pieces. So now we could so now we could cut once like this. So now we have two equal pieces, cut once like this. Now we have four equal pieces and then divide each of those four pieces into two pieces. So we'll cut those in. So here we have. So let's see. I want to make them equal pieces. Those don't look as equal as I would like. So that looks more equal. And then that looks reasonably equal. So now how many equal pieces do I have? I have eight equal pieces. I have eight equal pieces. But let's say I wanted to eat the same fraction of the pizza. So I could eat all of these pieces right over here. Well, how many of those eight equal pieces have I eaten? Well, I've eaten one, two, three, four of those eight equal pieces. And so once again, this fraction, four of eight or four eighths, is equivalent to two fourths, which is equivalent to one half. And you might see a little bit of a pattern here. Going from this scenario to this scenario, I got twice as many, I got twice as many equal slices. Because I had twice as many equal slices, I needed to eat two times the number of slices. So I multiplied the denominator by two and I multiplied the numerator by two. If I multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, then I'm not changing what that fraction represents. And you see that over here. Going from four slices to eight slices, I cut every slice, I turned every slice into two more slices. So I had twice as many slices, and then if I want to eat the same amount, I have to eat twice as many, twice as twice as many pieces. So all of these, one half, two fourths, four eighths, and I could keep going. I could do eight sixteenths, I could do sixteen thirty seconds. All of these would be equivalent fractions.